I want to thank each and every subscriber who's left comments telling us what we needed to do better to have a better yard drain kit. We now have a yard drain kit that requires no tools, it's a slip fit, and you've made our jobs easier as contractors because we developed this for the DIYer. We developed it for the DIYer in mind, and as a direct result, we made our job easier. Enjoy the video. All right, this is my personal favorite yard drain right here. So you're dropping the water in the six inch inlet basins where you're collecting all the sediment so you don't plug your pipe. No riser, second catch basin, riser, third, two risers, three risers. Sediment traps are getting deeper because we have slope on the system. We have nine inlet basins, nine altogether. The guys are using these slip fit couplers on the catch basin, snapping the corrugated pipe on. So we have a string level. We ran a string level. The string level is to show you a level yard. So we tied a piece of string and set the height to where the bubble was level on the string level. This represents a flat yard, no slope. First catch basin has a cap to start it out. This is just a cap because that's the beginning of the line. We're going to slip a coupler on there that's going to accept corrugated pipe. We have nine basins. Every time we go to another basin, we add a riser. No riser here. You're starting out your line. You want it to be as high as you can because you want to get as much slope as you can. Guys go to the second basin, then they add a riser. Third basin has two risers, and so forth. You just keep adding a riser. This is the simplest way to get slope on a yard drain. Beautiful job. We have the whole team involved in this demonstration for you. We have nine catch basins over the length of 50 feet. All the grates are set the same. We have a string level. We have a piece of string. We got a string level on it. We set it to where it represents a flat yard, no slope. This string represents where the grass is at. We went ahead and we set these catch basins up the same underneath that string. You can see how this one has all these boxes underneath it to get it to height. This is gonna be really shallow, super shallow dig. We got a semi-translucent sediment trap. You can see we threw some two inch rocks in there to hold it in place for this demonstration. You got an end cap to start this off. That's it, just put an end cap on. Go ahead and put the push pins in. Pre-drilled holes, no tools needed. Click it together. Go on to your next catch basin. Put one riser on that second basin. Put two risers on the third basin and keep adding a riser the whole way. You guys are doing a really good job setting up this demonstration for you. You can see we just keep getting deeper with our sediment trap. We're creating slope on our yard drain system. This is not a French drain, this is a yard drain system. We have one of our sump pump systems. This is a 30 inch sump pump system. So we're gonna dig a 30 inch hole at the end, have this set at the grass level right here. We go from a solid yard drain pipe, it's not perforated, at the very end, you go to perforated, and you just loop it around your outdoor sump system at whatever height it happens to be. 
you just backfill this with stone. You dig it out, you set it at the turf level, all the water is going to get drawn in. In this micro bad seed, there's an M53 Zoller sump pump. Super easy. You take a nut driver, loosen his clamp. We have some flex schedule 40, 50 footers. You hook up a discharge line that's 50 feet long and it's flexible. Loosen this up, slip it in, tighten it up. That is it. That is the only tool you need. Beautiful demonstration that the guys did here. Here's the couplers that we put on our inline sediment traps. These are the four inch couplers. We also have them in three inch couplers. Got the pre-drilled holes for the push pins. Super easy to install. Slip them on, put a couple push pins in, connect your pipe. Now if you're doing corrugated, you want to use a good tile tape. Tile tape all these connections. We're not going to do that because this is just a demonstration. So we are going to break this down. We're using scrap pipe from the job site. So some of it's covered in mud. It's been beat up. It's been thrown in dump trucks with dirt piled on it. Again, we're just using some scrap pieces. We're clicking them together. This is for demonstration purposes only. You can see the first catch basin. No riser. Second catch basin. Riser. Third, two risers. Three risers. Sediment traps are getting deeper because we have slope on the system. We're going to have 2% slope on this system. You guys did a beautiful job. Right here, you go to perforated pipe. You're in your sump pit. You dig out this big hole. You just go ahead and loop eight slot perforated pipe. It has holes on the top, on the sides, and on the bottom. Just go ahead and Y it together. That's it. It's that simple. No tools are required. You don't need a hole saw. A lot of times contractors like take a hole saw, put a hole in here. That's fine. We're trying to make this DIY friendly. We came up with a kit that's super easy. This is nine inline sediment traps. Of course, as you're digging your trench or as you're taking a trencher and making a trench, you're going to have a nice straight trench. These are only five inches wide, so they fit in a trench made by a trencher. You can see five inches wide, and it tapers. So if you trench a line, nice straight line, just go ahead and drop that in. Or necessarily, it doesn't have to be straight, especially with corrugated pipe. You can go from one low spot to the next low spot, and as you add basins, you just add a spacer. Again, this is how you're getting your slope. You have a flat yard. This line represents the height of your lawn. It's flat. you got water laying there. You're trying to get the water out of there. you got to move the water. So you're dropping the water in these six-inch inlet basins where you're collecting all the sediment so you don't plug your pipe. And then you're running the water on a 2% slope. This line's on a 2% slope. Guys did a beautiful job setting this up for you. Really nice demonstration. Get right here, and you're discharging it into the sump pump area. Perforated eight slot. Loop it around with a Y right around your micro bad seed. If you want to go with a full frame, you can go with a full frame. It's up to you. This micro bad seed, we can ship it to you in a box. It doesn't get shipped on a pallet. So very cost friendly. It's plumbed. You don't have to do anything. Just hook up the discharge line. That is it. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. It supports the channel. If you have any questions about yard drains, leave them in the comments section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until that next video.